watching Tell me who's watching Who's watching me I know that uh, we've been trying to get a capital program done over here and trying to redo those streets. I know that some of the streets have been redone, uh, I guess patched, the Frank Court and um, some of the other courts, and I know that Canton Court is in trouble as well with the uh, uh, bulkhead. Um, the bulkhead, there should be money available for bulkheads. We got nine of them done so we can get more of them done. Where there is a street reconstruction that has to be done, where the patching has failed, then it's time for a DEP reconstruction of that particular street. That particular street can get done uh, with DEP funding uh, that would not need a capital program to get done. So if that is a particular number of streets, I know that uh, we should take a look at Frank Court and maybe uh, one or two others uh, and see if we can get some money for reconstruction of those individual streets that are necessary to get done as soon as possible. As far as the capital program, obviously we are tough and dynamics right now and uh, if we could going forward to be able to uh, get a capital program done here in uh, Old Garrison, we'd have to, uh, for the uh, streets in Old Garrison streets here, we'd have to be able to get money from our partners. I'd have to work with the uh, uh, City Council, uh, the Assembly, and the Senate, and uh, possibly even our congressman, uh, to see if what available funds could come in for that. But it's anywhere from eight to about 11 to 13 million dollars that reconstruction. Um, it just has not been made available, and I think it's long overdue. It should be done. Bob, why am I surprised your hands going up? Well, you know I'm a favorite fan, Bob. I know you are. I was telling your associate, or me. I was wondering where you've been. I hadn't seen you. I was a little concerned. We've had these. I'll be here, Bob. I see you here now. We've had these conditions. You were on one of the committees as far as the sidewalks in the old section. And Stavo, Stavo was here last month. And she said now that the streets have to have reconstruction. And I'm wondering why it's taken all this time when we first had the meeting at the uh, Gustav Others. All the way up to this point to find out that we're still not going to get anything done. Well, it, they are city streets, all right? They are not state streets. Uh, we are trying to uh, put together a uh, capital funding, uh, and capital funding has not come about. And so we're working towards that. When, when did we decide that we had to do the streets as far as reconstruction? The, the committee that was there that evening went around and saw Correct. a sidewalk. <laughs> Didn't they know at that time that the streets had to have reconstruction no. in order to do the sidewalks? No, they did not. As a matter of fact, experts? what they said that day, uh, and they said at the meetings that followed that, is that they would do reconstruction, they would do milling, where milling would be appropriate, and where they thought reconstructions would be, they'd do reconstructions. Until a capital program and the DOT and DEP commissioner said, which is about 10 years down the road. So something will get done as far as the, the sidewalks are destroyed. Well, you can't do sidewalks if you don't do reconstruction. That's correct. That's what I'm trying to say. We just right. found this out what, last month. Well, it would be useless to do a obviously sidewalks if you didn't do a reconstruction. But those streets need sewers. Okay. Also, I'd like to commend you. I understand on getting us a portion light, possibly on. Oh, I've got to tell you, so we got we got baby steps. I, I know that we wanted a red green light. Right. I, I know okay. that. I commend you for that. We got a portionary light. I know we want more at that location. And we're going to still try to get more. Okay. Also, um, we seem to be having a problem with the parks department on the other side of the street. Here. And we can't seem to get the volunteer community, the volunteers that were here, back to work on that. Uh, do you know any advice on that? Any well, information on that? I, I will take a look at it, but I would imagine that there was a group that was assigned, I guess that was Garrison Beach Cares. That was doing that. The uh, I guess working with the volunteers, and I would presume, unless they said they're not going to work with them, that um, uh, they would still be assigned organization to send the volunteers. Uh, but in this case, these are uh, in some cases uh, from the district attorney's office, and other cases they are work 
Uh, well, I'm, not, I'm not referring to the district attorney's office as far as the, uh, the uh, people who are doing community service. Correct. We have our own volunteers here who were willing to take care of the area, and it seems that we can't seem to come to some kind of agreement. I was wondering if you were aware of what I am aware that there's been a back and forth uh, between um, uh, Garrison B. Cares and the Parks Commissioner uh, for whatever reason. I understand that several elected officials have been involved over the past uh, year or so in trying to work out some type of compromise. I believe it started uh, with uh, certain groups to certain uh, additions and certain corrections uh, within the park area without getting, in some cases, approved from the City Parks Department. And of course, the City Parks Department, on some cases, uh, you know, got to be perfectly honest with you, um, just uh, don't do the right thing. And uh, so I would like to see the uh, Parks Department and, of course, the community groups work together. I'd like to see that uh, since we have so much park land here, uh, we work very hard. As a matter of fact, um, we met years ago, um, Mike Taylor and uh, Joe Foy, uh, we met as a direct result of Bay Ridge and where I started this volunteer group and how we would bring everybody out to clean up the parks. And that's where uh, Joe and uh, Mike uh, brought that uh, back here. And uh, similarly, in Sheepset Bay, uh, we see uh, Big uh, does the same thing. And that was also developed and started in Bay Ridge uh, many, many, many years ago, back in 1994. That's the Millennium Group, Gary Forrester? Pardon me? Is that the Millennium Group, Gary Forrester? No, not at all. No. The groups yeah. I'm referring yeah. to in Bay Ridge was my own groups, the Bay Ridge Parks Task Force. Oh. We would go out there and we would clean up. We would take the alternative. I was the guy who started the program with the district attorney with the community service that brought those community, those who were doing the graffiti on the gates, those that were drinking beer, those that were urinating at, in our streets, instead of, you know, giving them a fine, them throwing the summons away, then locking the kids up for not showing up, giving them a warrant, let's put them in the system, let's give them back to the community, and let them uh, remove the paint and clean up our parks. It became a, a model, uh, yeah, working sure. with uh, Rudy Giuliani and uh, Charlie Hines, and uh, here the district attorney, and it, it, it was very, very successful. And we'd like to see that continue. Um, to and the rumor with Green Streets, is there money still left for that Green Streets that was supposed to be hit? I don't know. There's no money around for what? any... The you're talking that? about the street that was supposed to be at here? The, yeah. the Green Street? No. There was some... The money is no longer there? No. Okay, that ends the rumor that we are the money getting it all. That's... that's uh, right. We're talking it's apples and peaches. We'll ask Todd Slopes, who's representing Congressman Weider, about that. Okay. Because when the congressman appeared here, he told us he had anywhere from $250,000 to $300,000 sitting there for a capital project. Okay. And we're going to ask Todd to address that. Okay. So okay. It's just, you're we had $250,000, which was a match from the, Congre from the Congress Congressional Office, and nothing moved on that street, so the Nothing moved on the well, box. My office still stands. Anytime you're here, you're welcome to the house. You're welcome to Thank dinner. You. I know you want to have my wife's cooking. But I'm glad to see you. I'm like if you cook. Glad to see you. With the wife's off. Yes. Well, I understand what Bobby said. This this whole problem with the parks that bought the beach kids has created a very dangerous problem for us. When you leave tonight, I want you to look at the fences that bore the ball field. The southern half of those fences have a, a line that you can't see through the fence. The child could be taking me around that fence and molesting. The parties could be mugged. My, the beach dads took care of it. There were no vines on the fence. Mm -hmm. And out of Fox Farm, he's just letting it grow. This is dangerous. I will try to take children. a more of a focus. I don't have other uh, elected officials have met with the Fox Department and, and with Garrison Beach Bears. I don't know what came out of those meetings, uh, but I will find well, out. Well, if they can't resolve, let them send some people down and get rid of the vines. Well, I do know that that's very good, and I think we can do that. That's number one. Number two, I do know that there'll be a new parks commissioner for Brooklyn here very, very shortly. Uh, Julie Spiegel has retired. Uh, they will be announcing... Well, it's usually 180 days after, so it's usually done within three to, three to four months. So I would imagine that that light should be there very, very shortly. 
I'll, I'll get a date for you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. The schools cannot make it out. They all saw me on the news. So they're all coming up in Well, that date was announced. That, that light was announced. That light should have been up for school. I'm, I'm surprised that the uh, that, that light's not up for school. But I will take a look and find out. I'd just like to add, John Douglas, John would be uh, an absolute necessity at that town hall meeting, representing GPKs. Very good. All right. All right. The, uh, I know he just went in the back. I'm not going to be around for his run. Uh, on uh, September, was it 18th, is it? Uh, so I'm going to miss him uh, that <laughs> morning. But most of all, I'm going to miss you running as the youngest senior running down that street. You motivated me, you know. <laughs> I want to tell you, it's very important that you stay healthy. And I'm glad to see you do it. And I wish you well. I can't, I'm going to be away for that weekend. Uh, that's a weekend the family is uh, dedicated. Uh, and uh, so I cannot be here for that weekend. Well, it's going to be a host of things that I'm missing. It's a big weekend for me. That's the whole band run, as well as the uh, five mile run here. Five mile run here. Five mile run here. Excuse me, I correct myself. For those, for those who don't know, I'm sorry. For those who don't know, the senator arrived at the 5K. It was a beautiful day. He looked out and he said, Look at all these, what a beautiful day. Look at all these beautiful young people. And they turned and he said, and old George. <laughs> and I, and I, that's what motivated me. He said, I'll be a son of a gun. He said, I won the senior trophy by running with the, I broke out with the opening group. I had no idea that it was the best strategy for it worked. But I probably would not have if you hadn't said, and old George. So, thank you. And there was an old lady who came in first in the senior too. That was Claire Acarina. No, I walked. Well. I didn't run. I walked. You know, this is not good. This is being taped here. We don't want to hear old George, <laughs> old lady here, uh, because it's not true. Uh, obviously, you were young at heart, and that's why you came in first in your category, and you came in first in I your think category. I was the only one in my age group. Well, that's all right. I'm going to tell you, that motivates other people to get involved. And if they break the categories down well, you can have a lot of first places. Uh, wins here in Garrison Beach, depending on how that 5K is broken down, <laughs> according to uh, wins. But congratulations, keep it up. Thank you, Garrison Beach, for everything that you complain about. Izzy, Dan, we're talking about your five your 5K run. I apologize that I will not be able to be there this year. But more than missing you is going to be missing the runners that you will have here that came in first last year, and I believe that will come in again first this year. And it's just what keeps communities dream of communities like this. Uh, and uh, you do have one of the finest communities in this great city, in this great state. Uh, continue to be the people you are. Continue to fight. Continue to keep this the that jewel that we have here. Uh, thank you and have a great, great weekend. Thank you. I'm just an average man with an average life.